Welcome Libra. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth Self-Awareness card deck. I've tried this like three times already and I'm already having trouble with my pronunciation. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully you understand everything. Oracle of the Seven Energies is the other deck we'll be using along with Osho's and Tara. Okay, Libra, let's get into it here. Right. Starting with Soul Truth. Libra, these cards are pretty cool. I've been quite enjoying what's been coming out lately. Lately, this round. Okay, so three cards for Libra, please. Soul Truth. This is like really cool messages from your soul here, Libra. And I don't like that just kind of fell out. Okay, so we've got three cards here. First card is, what are the dominant emotions that run my life? Second card is, am I clear on what my soul really wants? And the third card is, am I focused on what I want most? Interesting, because we've got about what the soul wants and what you want. So it'll be interesting to see how that coincides and whether it marries up or not. Alrighty, so let's have a look here at what are the dominant emotions that run my life. And this will also be interesting because that will be a telltale as to what it is that your soul wants and what you want and how these emotions are actually either helping that come in or repelling it, right? I mean, that's just a guess, but let's see what happens. Okay, so this card says, How do you feel your day? Stress or joy? Trust or anger? Anxiety or peace? We have only today, right now, the journey. No goal, no destination will bring us the feeling we seek. But when we begin filling every day with that which we value most, we attract more of it. This is fulfillment. So your sole action is lean into what you want to feel and adjust your life, your values and your expectations to match your desires. What do you want to feel? Are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to achieve something to feel it? Good point, good point. What do you want to feel? And this is something that you can do every day, not just one day, right? Do it every day. Get into the habit of that. And even if you have to listen to this card every single day and come back and listen to it to remind you until you're in the habit of it, do it. You know, because it's a really good thing to get into, I think. Right, okay, so tell me more about this card for Libra. So we've got one card here, which is upside down. I don't know what it is yet. Second card, third card. Okay, Libra. Okay, sorry. Let me start with the first card here. A burst of magic. Oh, look at this. There's the silhouette of a person coming up out of this flower of life, right? This burst of magic. And I suppose, in a sense, if you look at this really closely here, Libra, is that with the dominant emotions that run your life, how is that that burst of magic coming out of that flower of life, what is that looking like? Because those emotions are what is going to determine that, right? Two cards, one card. Yeah. Yeah. See, we've got sorry here, and then we've got conditioning. This, this sorrow, this is conditioning your life. This is this is actually creating the conditions of your life. The sorrow, even if it's not felt, even if it's suppressed, 
which is a very interesting point because here's the thing, right? What are the dominant emotions that run your life? If there's emotions that are suppressed, they are running your life without you even being aware of them. Even if you feel like, oh, I feel happy today, I'm good. It's not to the the, the um, extent, the happiness is not to the extent that it could be if those emotions had been released. Because they're still, they're still keeping you tied down. See the ropes here? They're still keeping you tied. They're still conditioning you. And it's sort of like this burst of magic here. This person isn't in full form, right? It's just a silhouette. They're not 100% there. They're not fully present. Very interesting, Libra. Very interesting indeed. What's the next card here? Close encounters. Yeah, see? I feel like this is... This is two aspects of yourself, one on the outside of the cage and one on the inside of the cage. And <clears throat> I want to say that there's a misconception that if I stay in the cage, I'll be more protective, protected, sorry. But the thing is that there's less exploration in your life, right? There's sort of a fear of stepping out of the cage. Is this a cage of emotions? Is this the emotions that are in locked in there? Maybe? Let's have a look. Tell me more, one more for close encounters. Wow. Wow. Oh, this is giving me the tingles all over. We have guidance and the master. See in this card here, this person is turning away from this angel. This person here is turning away from this angel. I actually feel like this, yes, you see, this is you, Libra. This is you in the cage. It's like, this is what you have the potential to do, is to fly and be free. But there's this, this rejection of that freedom. It's, I mean, I feel like it's more of a metaphorical explanation. It's a rejection of the freedom that you give yourself um, by avoiding allowing these suppressed emotions to come up. It's kind of like the suppressed emotions are what hold you down and you know that they need to be released. And yet that, for some reason, is more comfortable than releasing them because you know what it feels like to feel them and you don't want to feel them again which is why they're suppressed but understanding that they will pop up at some other point they'll pop up and be like hello here I am down they go again next thing hello I'm still here, down again, until one day they pop up and you can't do anything or you can't suppress them anymore because they get sick of being suppressed, they get tired of being suppressed. But what in turn happens is this stops you from being your authentic self. This stops you from stepping into the master of your life. It stops you from mastering your life or anything that you want to achieve in your life. It's, it's kind of like you're rejecting yourself. You're turning away from yourself by doing that. That part of yourself that needs the healing, 
is the part that needs you the most. And you, you keep it in a cage. Look at this beautiful butterfly that has transformed. It's transformed. And you, you're keeping yourself in a cage. This other card here. Oh my gosh, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. Beautiful uncaging, right? This is you uncaging yourself, unlocking, unlocking the cage because ultimately the suppression of the pain is within your heart. Whatever has hurt you, it's hurt your heart. And it may not seem like a beautiful thing to release that. But when it is released and you're able to step into this master of who you are. And you're able to actually fly and become who you truly are. That is what the beauty is, Libra. That is where the beauty resides. Beautiful uncaging. Tell me more about this. Two cards. Beautiful uncaging. Yeah, see, this, this is the second team that's popped up here. So it's definitely time to end this cycle that you've been pushing down for such a long time, right? Because here's the thing, right? <clears throat> Ending the cycle will allow you to connect, to connect with others truly and fully and utterly. Okay, it's going it, to, because I feel like by uncaging the heart and un, ultimately uncaging yourself in order to fly to the heights that can be reached and you won't have to settle for lower heights because you decide, oh, well, that'll do. You know, that's fine. Um... This is going to allow for true connection, right? That only the master could make, right? Because by suppressing the sorrow, you're clinging to the past. You actually cling to the past. Even if you don't feel like you do, you may not even think about it. You might be like, that's done and dusted. I haven't thought about that for years. That is done. But it, actually it's not because it hasn't been released. So, you know, there's lots of ways to release these things. It could be about through talking about it. It could be writing letters and burning them. Um, it could be through movement. It could be through art, expressing. Um, it could be writing what has happened and how you feel about it. There's lots of different ways for you to release it. Crying is a really good way. Um <clears throat> Feeling the emotions, sitting with the emotions, looking at the emotions, asking the emotions what it is that they need from you. Every time those emotions pop up, rather than pushing them down, sit with them. Because I tell you what, they dissolve so much quicker. So much quicker. And yeah. Anyway, okay. Am I clear on what my soul really wants? Take out the shoulds and the limitations. Get out of your head and pay attention to your heart's desires instead. Yes, and this is why it needs to be uncaged. Because how on earth are you going to hear that when it's in a cage? Your soul speaks to you through your heart. And it's impossible to hear the heart when it's caged up. So therefore, you can't hear your soul, right? Anyway. If you knew it was impossible to fail, what would you do? Wherever you go, go with all your heart. Oh, oh. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. Oh, I love that, Libra. I love it. Okay, today's soul action. Ask yourself, what is it that your soul really wants? What does your heart crave 
then take one step in that direction. One step. Even if it's a baby smidgen, teeny, weeny, 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 weeny little step. Just take a step forward, not back. <laughs> Just forward, right? I love this. Yes, yes, yes. Take out the shoulds and the limitations. Get out of your head and pay attention to your heart's desires instead. I think, honestly, we could all take this advice, right? We could all take this advice. Two cards upside down here, but the first card here is Uncharted Sea. Mm, this is the scary thing, right? I love the pelican on the boat there. Uncharted Sea. Pelicans don't usually sail on a boat. This is a different way of traveling, a different way of traveling through your life. When you're now uncaging your heart and traveling through your life with your heart leading, this is a different way of moving, right? It's uncharted sea, and it's scary. Of course it's scary. It's not going to be not scary. Be aware of that, though. Be aware of the fear, right? The dominant emotions that are popping up from doing that, be aware of those because they will tell you what it is that you need to work through and what it is that needs releasing. Let them be your friend rather than your enemy. Let them guide you, let them show you, okay? Treat it in a different light. Travel differently. Okay, so the uncharted sea. And this here is 46, which is a 10 again. So this is an ending of a cycle so that you can start traveling, not in a, in a different direction, not necessarily. I don't feel it's about the direction. I feel it's about the way you travel it more so. Because it doesn't really seem to be, I'm not being shown that it's the direction or the destiny that truly matters here. It's the way in which it's traveled by you. And how you allow yourself to be led. This time, Libra, let your soul lead. And therefore, let your heart lead. Okay, look at this. We've got the creator here. This is you, the creator. Right? This is about your intuition, connecting with your intuition and your heart. Coming out of here. Um, no, that's not right. That's not, sorry. I spoke before. I, I spoke too soon. What I'm seeing is coming out of, coming from here into here, into here, into your intuition. So connecting everything. So they are all working harmoniously. Because you're definitely going to need to use your mind, but it's using your mind for a different um, reason rather than it deterring you, allowing it to lead you right, allowing it to see that the journey that you're embarking upon is an adventure. And this, this may not even be an ending of a um, cycle. It's just the ending of the way in which you travel. Yeah. Oh, beyond the ordinary. Oh, I love this card. This card came up for someone else. Can't remember who. And it, and it was an additional card and I didn't take it, but I really loved it. This is cool. This is beyond the ordinary. This is... Yeah, see, look at this, look at this. Here, yeah, he's got this star in his heart. And even though he's got his arms crossed against it, it still shines. It still shines out. There's nothing you can do to stop that. Once your heart is uncaged, it's going to shine. And it's going to lead. And it's not going to be your ordinary way of doing things. Look at this, yes. One more card for Beyond the Ordinary. We've got Travelling. See, this is Travelling, right? Travelling laziness. <sighs> yep. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Because what you've been, this is about the suppression, right? It going, yeah, I've done that work. I don't need to do it anymore. But ultimately, those emotions are still pushed down um, and haven't, you know, there could be some things that you've done, though. There's some releasing that you have done, 100%. It's not that you haven't done anything, but it's sort of like the last thing is the hardest, and that's the most important. Okay, so make sure. Actually, I feel like it's these two more steps to go. These two more steps to go, potentially, for some of you. Yeah. And they're the hardest. They're going to be the hardest. Part of this is also the inner child as well. Inner child work is crucial every day. Every day. Even when you've done it. Even when you've started traveling with your heart. Still, the inner child needs to be acknowledged and loved and cared for. Exposed and revealed. I feel like this is a fear of yours. It actually makes me feel a little bit emotional. Tell me more about exposed and revealed, Libra, please. Oh. Being shut out. Being shut out. For some of you, this is about people ghosting you, going silent on you, having nothing to do with you. And it wasn't anything that you did wrong or anything that you deserved. But what it's done is it's actually triggered this inner child of going... Please don't reject me. Hmm. Feeling shut out. Yep. And so when you're looking at what your heart craves, maybe it's love, maybe it's acknowledgement. Yeah. Maybe it's acceptance. Just for you being you. Hmm? Am I focused on what I want most? Libra. One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. That's a quote by Tony Robbins. Today's soul action, what you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values or do I need to make adjustments? Prioritize. Okay, so Libra, let's have a look more at this. What is it that you really want? It's going on the floor. Oh, we've done pretty well so far for nothing to have gone on the floor and only one card to go on the floor. Let's see if we can keep it at one. One more card. Thank you. I'll just pick this up. Okay, Libra, we've got bearing a fruit. Bearing fruit. This is growing this tree here to bear a fruit. Interesting. Oh, interesting. I'm seeing here. How? Where is it? Look, we've got the butterfly up here, and then we've got the star. Where is it? It's yeah. We've got the star there. Look at that bearing fruit. What does this mean, though? What does this mean? In relation to what is it that you really want? This is about what you're growing. 
and the eyes are hidden the eyes of the tree because it looks like a face but it's hidden it's a face the nose the mouth is hidden So what are you hiding? What are you not seeing? What don't you want to see? What aren't you saying? What aren't you feeling? Is this this suppressed pain? How are you meant to bear the fruit of the tree if there's pain underneath the surface? Okay, I feel like that wasn't... Okay, bearing fruit. Two cards for bearing fruit for Libra, please. One more card. There it is. Okay. Okay, so the first card that popped up here is we've got schizophrenia and we have the burden. I feel like this is a decision that needs to be made about the direction in which to go in right now. For your life. Um, and the thing here Libra. Is that I feel as though. This decision is impacted. By this suppressed pain. That hasn't been released. So it is a potential. It is potentially the case. That it may pay. To release this. These emotions. If you can. Before making the decision. Because it's just, it's it's becoming very heavy for you. And it's impacting every area of your life right now. Okay, we have the Oracle's gift. Yeah, yeah, it's even impacting your cup that you fill. Because this here is trying to grow a tree out of it, but it's only half full. Libra. It's only half full. And, and that could be because you're filling it, you know, that could be that you're still working on filling that cup and working out what it is that you want to grow in your life, you know, so in that regard, you know, maybe that is the case for you. Let's check it out, Ooh, let's check it out. The oracles give two cards for this. Projections and abundance. energy I feel like this is energy um, I feel as though <clears throat> that the even if you're um, sort of <sighs> behaving in a cool calm and collective manner the energy is still being projected okay so it's very important to be aware of that um, and the other thing is in that regard with the emotions right it doesn't matter <laughs> It doesn't matter if you're like, you, it's all right, I've got it under control. Not a problem. Who's going to know? No, one's, no one can see. But it's this feeling. It's the feeling that vibrates out, which impacts your entire life. So in order to get to a fulfilling life with everything coming to you in abundance, it's important for you to make sure that you're choosing, you're choosing in accordance with what your soul needs and wants, with what your heart desires, okay? And how do we do that? We unlock the cage around our heart so we can hear, so we can see, so we can feel, without fear, without fear of this friggin' suppressed energies and emotions coming up to taint whatever it is that's going on okay so last card here spirit of gratitude oh that's and see look at this coming out of the cup here look at this growing out of the cup spirit of gratitude gratitude for the emotions that need to be released right gratitude for them being there gratitude for the fact that you have the ability to release those Yeah, yeah, you're exhausted, you're tired, 
you know, <clears throat> here's the thing. I think some of you are just ha have had enough of trying, okay? But I want to say about this, the ex ex exhaustion, <sighs> be grateful for it. <clears throat> be grateful for it because it may have caused you to crash and burn and maybe that is exactly what you needed for this new beginning to come about right maybe that is exactly what you needed Libra so this spirit of gratitude be grateful for all the things that have happened okay because this is this flower of life right that came right out of at the beginning here. This is where your burst of magic come from comes from. Okay, so be grateful for that. Okay, Libra, I'm gonna leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye bye.